what we're doing here is emasculating a head of wheat. And this is what every cross starts with. The small flowers at the bottom we pull off. Then we take the central flowers, pull those off. Now the reason why we pull them off is A, they're very hard to remove the anthers from, and B, they tend to be very young so that it's difficult for them, even if you emasculated it, for them to be ready to be pollinated in two days. Normally we pollinate two days after we emasculate. Now this is close work, so I usually take my glasses off when I do this. Our goal is to cut directly above the anthers so they're easy to get. Each florid has three anthers. So I always try to come in. You always want to get all three. I don't know if you can see that, but there's the three anthers. And that makes your life a lot easier when you're getting all three. Sometimes you get two. Sometimes you get one. That time I just got two, so you have to go back in. But if you can get all three, it's a lot easier. Now, we do this on both sides of the florets so that the whole uh, head cannot self-pollinate. Wheat's normally self-pollinated. And the idea is then if we can uh, remove the anther so it can't self-pollinate, then we can pollinate it with what we want. The two things a breeder has to have are a very good set of tweezers. And it's funny. Everybody gets used to a set of tweezers. I've had these almost, I've been here since 1986. So this is my 24th crossing season. And I probably had this set of tweezers for at least 22 years and a good pair of scissors. And I've had these probably for an equal length. Now I've worn out the string, but I have, and you have to be very careful never to drop your tweezers. If you drop them, you'll break the points. These are all surgical grade because they last much better. We tried a few of them that were, were iron and they rusted and they were no good. So we use surgical grade scissors to do that. Now what we do is we put the date and the pot number on the label, put the label around the spike, and then the next thing is we cover the spike so no stray pollen, because there's a lot of pollen in this greenhouse, could get onto this female. We want to make it only with the, the male of our choice. So now it's protected. Once we seal it, now we'll wait one to two days, probably only one day because pollen's getting so, we're right at the end of the greenhouse, you know, we'll have to almost cross it immediately. So that's how we make our emasculations. But what we would do is we'll take a male plant, put it up above. Now, if you look at this, that male is completely dead. That's because it was cut off, put in a tube of water, and allowed to live three or four days to pollinate this cross we made. And again, you can see the excellent seed set that we have. So these greenhouses, which were a huge investment by the state of Nebraska for the university, have been massively important for creating 